All right, now it's time to uh, take on the league. So yeah, let's get going, guys. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's uh, actually time for more trace uh, of uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Uh, this one's on blue. Uh, so uh, of course I'm gonna, uh, I mean I'm gonna go all the way back through Victory Road, uh, surf to Cinnabar Island, and then uh, you know take take the boat to, to one island. Uh, oh wait, that's remix. <laughs> No, uh, Moltres is actually in uh, Fitry Road of all places for some reason in uh, this generation. I mean, I guess it's the only place they could have put them in the end, but you know, it's it's really weird how like they didn't have anywhere to put Moltres. Like they could have, they could have easily, well, not maybe not easily, but they probably could have put it put Moltres in uh, what's it called, Cinnabar Mansion or something. You know, like as like a like little like hidden cavern entrance, you know, something like that, you know, you know, at the bottom or something, I don't know where, not at the bottom, but you know what I mean, you know, just somewhere hidden deep within Cinnabar Island, because, I mean, you never see a volcano, really, at least not in Generation 1 anyway, uh, but they could have easily had something there in Cinnabar Mansion, you know, like, I, like, I don't know how you would have gone about unlocking it, but... I guess, though, if anything, Cinnabar Mansion was already... Jeez, man, that was so quick. <laughs> Moltres isn't too far, so no, so that's not really too bad. Uh, but, um... Yeah, they could have... I guess the only reason why they didn't go for that is because... They wanted you to focus on getting the secret key. Yeah, I missed this, by the way. <laughs> uh, I guess they wanted you to focus on the secret key. Uh, you know, and get that, and then if they put something like, oh, here's a granting path, that you would have gone that way instead, and then you would have had to have gone all the way back just to hopefully not go that way again, and, you know, go find the actual secret key for Cinnabar Gym, you know. Alright, uh, time for Mod Trace then. Uh, let me make sure that I've actually... Uh, yeah, I do have my great balls. I don't know why my fault, my ultra balls. What was I gonna say? False balls? I don't know, man. But my ultra balls. Unless, unless they went. No, they want to go to the bottom. Anyway, uh, Moltres time. Moltres time it is. Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't really got much to say about Moltres, to be honest. Do I? Not really. Fire Spin. I mean, I think Moltres is the worst of the three because Fire Spin. I mean, Fire Spin is not that great. It's 75 accuracy, if I recall. And it's like 15 power without stab. So on Moltres, it would be like 22.5 power. And, and, and on top of that, I think Moltres has Peck as well, which is we weaker than Drill Peck. So, you know, what? Missed? Why? I weakened him, did I not? When I see the health bar, of course I did. <laughs> I has been, man. I thought this this was going to go pretty quick, actually, to be honest, because of how quick, how close they are to the entrance, or not the entrance, but, you know, the back entrance. But, of course not. Hey, we killed him! Yeah! 15.50 experience points, generically speaking. So, you know, at least we know that. And uh, it's a good thing I saved as well before taking them on. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I saved, man. Alright, let's hopefully paralyze them this time. You know? By the way, Ice Beam, that does that does neutral on fire in this generation. Which I personally think that makes more sense, personally. Because, uh, the way I see it, it's obviously supposed to be logic, right? It's supposed to be logical, so like, obviously fire is weak to water because it, it gets doused out or whatever. But, uh, so, so the way... The way I see it, ice, you use it on a fire type, the ice melts into water. So obviously it's not as watery as it should be, but it still melts into water kind of thing. So it should be 
I think it should be neutral. So, you know, that's what I think, personally. You have nothing good, man, for this. No, I've got. Uh, wow, I, I, uh, no, I wasn't considering you <laughs> for a second. Alright, can I catch now that you're not fire spinning? No, what? Why? Sandus was so easy. Why is this one so hard? Why is this one so difficult? And the ice beam, by the way, against Moltres obviously would be super effective then because it's obviously flying type. And therefore, neutral fire, super effective flying, so it's just. You know, I can't even do anything to be honest. I want to. I want to kill. <laughs> I'm gonna kill. Can I swap? What do you, what do you have? Comet punch. What does comet punch even do? I don't even really know. Can I don't use it? I guess I can do sand attack, but that's not really gonna do me any good. Harden and Scratch, that's going to do me no good. I mean, it's going to do me a little bit, maybe. Let me try Great Ball then, because I've heard that that's apparently better. Like, I've heard, like, I, I mean, I've only seen it in the thumbnails. I don't know how it's better, and I don't get it. I don't, so I don't, I obviously didn't watch it, you know, so. Let's try an Ice Beam, because I, I imagine it's just going to kill. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know what. I, I imagine it's something like something, something, you know, a certain effectiveness against this situation or whatever. So I don't know, but you know, it's, it's weird. But yeah, uh, let's hopefully paralyze then. In fact, I'm gonna try surf and see how good that is. I know it's gonna be powerful because it's a powerful move already, plus stab, plus super effective. But let's see how much damage this does. Wow. Okay, that's really good actually. So, okay, so let's have a look now, see how good this is. Are you for real? Why? Why is Moltres harder? Is it because there's fire spinning? That can't be it, can it? Surely. Surely that can't be it, can it? That cannot... I might have to paralyze them then. Okay, so they didn't fire spin, so hopefully this works, and if it's fire spin. No, it's gonna have to be. Uh, I'm gonna have to paralyze them. Or freeze, you know? I'm gonna have to paralyze or freeze, because that's really the only way I'm gonna do this. Because you saw how low. That, that must have been red health. You know, and yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't catching. Of course you survive. Maybe you can survive with Body Slam then. I mean not survive, I mean you don't get po uh, frozen. You don't get power frozen. <laughs> That's how bad that would be, power frozen. <laughs> of course you get a crit, why? Why do you get a crit in the least opportune time? You're, you're a turtle, you're supposed to be slow, and critical hit's supposed to be based on being fast. <laughs> well, I didn't. I, it looks like I would have fainted in front of Moltres there. Yeah, I've got, I've, I think it's going to be a crit every time now as well. Yeah. Now, yeah, I've, I think it would have fainted then if uh, I bought a slam without crit. So yeah, I've just got to hope I can get like a, par a paralysis then. Okay, that was actually really low. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this can catch then, or at least attempt to catch. Oh. No, this is why uh, Thunder Wave is so useful. You can't even do that against. So I guess Sabdos has an easier catch rate then because you can't paralyze them but then you can ice beam them but then but then you 
to quit again because of course it is. <laughs> I thought this was going to be really quick because you saw how quick it was I caught Satmos. And yeah, here I am just like, you know, failing at mode race. <laughs> Because of course I am. Why wouldn't I be, right? <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance to use Fire Spin as well, because of course it is. In fact, they've been hitting every single one as well, so I wonder if, like... I wonder if, like, uh... It's got, like, better accuracy, because I'm sure it was... 75, but no, apparently it's, well I say apparently it's more, but it could just keep getting really lucky. <laughs> of course you do. Oh, I'm going to move my save state, because this is, uh, it's taking a bit too, well not too long, but you know, it's just getting tedious. Right, I'm gonna move my safe state here, which is arguably worse than what it was before, because now I can't spot my Pokemon. But yay, they miss! And of course, you don't get. Well, let's see how. Let's try a great ball now. It's probably gonna fail. Yeah. Yay! Finally, how many times was that? How many body slams was that? Alright. Okay, good. Didn't die. Alright, let's try the Ultra Ball then. Or I said, I should get crit. Let's try the Ultra Ball that I got here. What? Why? Alright, I need something that's gonna be really weak then to. Yeah, I'm gonna use you. See if I can. Cause fortunately, I don't think they're gonna get any EVs from this. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Don't really know how EVs are gonna work in Generation One or Two, but I know that uh, I'm not gonna get experience points for this. You know, cause uh, you know, I've got. Um, <laughs> cause I know I've got like. Uh, I know, I, cause it, you don't get experience points for the in this generation. Let's just hopefully whittle down their HP. Use next Mega. Nah. No, it's not bother. <laughs> right, let's hopefully... Hopefully get this. This is probably the first time I've seen no, no, actually no, I don't think it's the first time I've seen Kabuto's back spot. Hey, finally! That's the first one as well! Technically. First one that actually connected anyway. Finally, man. <laughs> one that gave me the most trouble so far. Moltres, the flame Pokemon. Known as the legendary bird of fire. Every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flash of flames. You don't say. Nah, I'm not, I, I did actually think about this after I recorded it, but like, nah, I, I do have nicknames for these Pokemon that I want to give them. Well, I'll give them in a bit, you know, at the end, you know, because I'm going to give everyone nicknames, but I forgot to do it last time, so, you know, I'm just doing the whole nickname thing at the end with everyone. Alright, let's uh... What can I even do now? I don't wanna... I feel like it's a bit too short to end it here, but... I don't wanna combine Articuno and Moltres together, and... But then I've already left Thingamajig. Uh, sad days, cause I've already actually uh... I've uploaded it. Cause I edited it and all that. Edited this morning, actually. You know what, I've got Dig. What are you about? Yeah, Kabuto was the one that caught it this time. <laughs> Not uh. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, so I went to see for a I was thinking it'd be see for a because it's Articuno and Blue. 
All right, well, uh, I guess that's it, really, for this uh, part, because I, I, I don't really got anything else I can really do in, the, in this little bit, anyway. And uh, I was thinking of putting all three of these videos together. You know, it's like uh, pick, pick and choose which one you want to do, either all three in one or all three parts or something, but I'm only going to release one anyway, and uh, either the three separate parts or the one full video. I'm not really going to make a playlist or anything for it, and if anything, I'm just going to leave this up to the LP movies anyway to put them all together. So I think this is probably the best, is just to split it all up, and then when the LP movie comes along and puts it all together, it will all go together then. So, there you go. Best of both worlds, really, right there, isn't it? Alright, uh, well that's it for this little section, this second part of episode 3, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit, and uh, uh, in the meantime, while you wait for episode uh, while you wait for part three of episode three, I hope you have a minky day.